So I just want to take a second before the video to let everyone know that I am in fact a dumbass because I forgot to turn on my microphone when I started this video. So the audio you're hearing is from my iPhone. That's why it's going to sound like shit or somewhat like shit. I'll try to fix it in post, but just a heads up. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Today we're going to be looking at some new concept cars for 2020. We're going to see what they got going on. We're going to see if there's anything cool to look at here. I want to see if the, maybe they got a, you know, a Supra Mark 6 maybe. Maybe. I doubt it. But uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some concept cars. I've never looked at concept cars before, but I've seen some ugly ones in the past. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any of those ugly ducklings along this. But anyway, I got some new merch finally. You guys were begging. Not really, but I made some anyway. Here we go. We got a JDM for Life sweater. If you want to rock the GTR on the front, go ahead. Feel free to. And on the back, it says Drew Peacock and some other stuff that I don't know what it says. But it's Japanese. And that makes it cool. But if you don't like the GTR on the front, we do have just the casual, the simple, the cock flock. If you want to rock the flock, feel free to with the cool Japanese on the back. I actually ordered one of these for myself because I like the design and I got myself a t-shirt too. So I will be showing you guys them when I get them in person. But anyway, let's look at some concept cars. So 2020, I don't know if there's a 2021 concept car list, but here we go. First one is a 2020 Alfa Romero GTV, which is a hybrid and the, the Alfa Romero Giulia Quadrifoglio, whatever it's called, it's already a pretty insane car. It's slept on hard in the car scene, but this one will be a 600 horsepower hybrid with a 447 kilowatt hybrid coupe, four seats. Come on, come on. This is, a, this is gonna be the sports. It's not even a sedan. It's a coupe. It's a coupe, my bad. I thought it was a sedan. It's a coupe. I failed you guys. I apologize for that. The, these cars, if you're not a huge fan of the Alfa Romero styling, I understand that. It is kind of weird. It's got some weird like owl beak on the front. And I understand that. I understand that 100%, but I mean, 600 horsepower hybrid, that's that's what the I, whatever it's called, the I-8 should be. It should be a fast car, but it, some three cylinder garbage, man, garbage. But I'm, I don't know. We'll see when it comes out. We'll see if that if, if those numbers still hold up. Uh, what the hell is this? 2020 Alpina Alpina XB7. Not feeling it, not feeling it. Not a very good looking car. I'm not a huge fan of BMWs anyway, and their kidney grills or whatever they call them, they're just getting bigger and bigger. It's just gonna be one grill eventually. It's gonna look like every other car out there. Uh, not feeling it. It's, it's. I don't know. It, it doesn't have too much to say about it, but just on, based on looks, this color, they couldn't have picked a worse color probably. They could have put this in hot pink and it would have looked better than this turd right here. Who the hell wants a dark green BMW? Like that doesn't, Unless it's like some, some you know, eight series or some crazy shit, it doesn't sound too luxury. Like this dark green, it's not that, it's not that luxurious. I'm just gonna say that. All right, next car, 2020 Aston Martin DBX, and it is a sport crossover. What is this, sport SUV? Aston Martin's first SUV will, do, will debut later this year. It will have a 5.2 liter V12, that sounds nice. See, would I prefer this? This looks a lot better, in my opinion, than this piece of shit right here. I would not, don't even hand that to me. I wouldn't I wouldn't even get in it. I would just sell it right away and get the money and then buy this because this sounds a lot better to me. Another new Aston Martin, 2020 Aston Martin Vantage Roadster. A little Roadster right here, just in case you know you love the Miata. You're still a hairstylist, even though you got some more wealth now. Maybe you own a hairstyling business and you want another Roadster that has some more giddy up. This is gonna be the car for you. It does look like almost the uh, Miata ND, the rear end, a little bit, not with this cool little lip right here, but it, I, I am getting some ND vibes if you do kind of block it out a little bit. I do feel it, but it's gonna have a nice AMG sourced V8, and that sounds pretty nice. I don't know, AMG V8s, they do sound really clean if you ask me, but I don't know, in a little coupe like that, it sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. 2020 Audi Sport EV, an electric vehicle from Audi. Sounds like there's not too much info on this car. I don't think it'll look like the R8. Um, because I don't know if you're gonna sell an electric vehicle to someone that wants an R8. I think they just want the R8, not an electric vehicle, but um, I don't know, we'll see. They're saying, will it be a sedan, a coupe, a hatchback Who They have no idea. So we're just we're just talking rumors here. Not, not very good concept right here. BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe, 2 Series, another, the M2. It's pretty slept on if you ask me, I don't know. The M3 is kind of overrated, I feel like. The M2 is pretty cool if you ask me, and this one, I don't know, it, it, it looks almost like an electric vehicle. It should come with upwards of 302 horsepower. It's a two liter turbocharged engine. I don't know, it, I'm not feeling it. BMW, I'm not feeling it. I'm not a huge BMW fan already, but this thing looks like a Chevy Cruze if you ask me. This looks like a Chevy Cruze with a BMW front end. And that's not a good thing. Chevy Cruzes are not very good cars. What the hell is this? 2020 BMW i4. Here we go, BMW, finally doing something different, not copying something else. This right here looks like, well, Kind of looks like a Tesla. My bad, you are still copying someone. Come on, man. BMW, think of something original. And 
You're a German car. I don't think you want your front grill to look like that. Come on, dude. I'm having some flashbacks right here of 1944. What, what kind of front grill is that? that <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. Who, who okayed this? Who okayed this? This. I feel like this should have been looked at a little bit deeper, but I got. Um, anyway. Uh, we're driving range of upwards of 435 miles. That doesn't sound too bad to me, but I am getting some Tesla-esque vibes right here. This is if a Tesla had sex with a hardcore German back in 1944. I think this would be the car. <laughs> 2020 Genesis G70 Coupe. Here we go, a Genesis. So can someone inform me, is Genesis still a part of Hyundai or are they something, I think they're on their own now, right? They, they, they went and did their own stuff. They were like, okay, we're selling too nice of cars and the Hyundai, you know, the Hyundai clientele, they can't afford them. We gotta, we gotta go somewhere else. So they, I guess they started their own stuff, but and not a bad looking car. Uh, it's gonna have a turbo four cylinder and a twin turbo V6 powertrain. So that's not bad. It'll be along the G70 lineup. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. It's, it's not the ugliest thing ever. 2020 Cadillac Escalade and Escalade ESV. Okay. So this is the one I was thinking of. I heard, and I've seen some like, you know, those little like drone footage of it that they're making a Cadillac with like a super, pretty much, I believe it's the Z01 powertrain into a Cadillac. That sounds pretty bitchin'. Now it sounds like it'll be heavy and it won't be fast, but you'll have the giddy up and it'll feel fast. My bad itching myself. It's like, it's like the Trackhawk, but heavier and probably not as fast, but still when you're in that big of a car and you're moving at that speed and you have that torque and acceleration, it feels faster than it actually is because you're in the car and you feel like you shouldn't be going that fast. But this isn't it. This this is probably going to be an electric vehicle, plug-in hybrid, you're being boring. Uh, 2020 Chevrolet Bolt. Okay, come on. Chevy. The Bolt failed and it failed hard. I worked there and the whole couple years I was working there, you guys probably sold 10 or 15. When it first came out, it was popular. But this looks like a revamped Aztec. I'm not gonna lie. This looks like an Aztec right here. This does not look like a bolt. Now this front end is pretty cool, but people gotta chill with the daytime running lights. I don't get it. Daytime running lights are so popular, but now they're getting so big and just so in your face. Like, look at this one. It's the whole front grill. Like, turn it off. I would, if I'm in an electric vehicle, I'd much rather have the power than powering up this light bar 24 seven. I don't know. But this isn't a bad looking car. It's different. It looks like a, a revamp of an Aztec, honestly, but I don't know. I, I thought they canceled the Bolt because it failed so hard, it just fell on its face. It, it, it's pretty hard to sell an electric-only vehicle unless it's a Tesla because it's not convenient. You can't take it on a road trip. You can't take it across the country. It's it's convenient for getting around town, but when you put a $40,000 price tag on it, it's just like, it's not worth it. You could buy a Honda Civic for 20000 Come on. Okay, the 2020 Ford Baby Bronco. Who's gonna buy a car with the word baby in it? The Baby Bronco. The, they, they couldn't think of anything else. They call it the calf. Call it the calf, the 2020 Ford calf. Not the Baby Bronco. It's, it's pretty much like, well, who's gonna buy this? This is gonna be another soccer mom car. Uh, it looks very boxy. I don't know, not feeling it. So here we go, here we go, an actual car. 2020 Hennessy Venom F5 Roadster. Now, it's not a car that we can probably ever afford, but they're cool to look at, unless you're a 12 year old. Supras are the only car I would ever think about owning. Unless you're one of those kids, it's a cool car. It's a good looking car too. I don't know if this is, again, I'm not huge on the exotic car market, so I don't know if this is a car that already exists or if this is a completely new concept, but personally, I think that car looks bitchin'. Looks like a full fledged race car, if you ask me. Like that, that thing looks like it can just handle like no one's business. That thing can go around the track at whatever speed it wants and it's gonna stick. It's not gonna slide out, it's it's fine. <laughs> and uh, JDM fanboys, this car's gonna actually come with 1800 horsepower. Another one, 2020 Hyundai Santa Cruz pickup. And that has to be one of the ugliest pickup trucks I've ever seen. It looks like a mix between the Escalade and the Honda Ridgeline. And neither of those cars are very good looking. Okay, the front end looks like something out of a soccer mom car. It's got this big round hood. It's not a good look. It's not a bad look, but it's, it's for sure not a good look. It's trying to be more than what it is. It's a pickup truck. The people that use pickup trucks go to work. They go and pick up stuff. They don't want a fancy looking car. They want a car that works. It's not rocket science. You're building a truck, make it work. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta make it all fancy. You could, but that's just gonna raise up the value more. And the people that want it wanna save money. That's the point of a pickup truck. Come on, man. I mean, it's not, it's not damn rocket science. It's just know your clientele. It's really easy. 2020 Jaguar F-Type. 
and that is a crazy looking car. Holy crap. Love that color too. Damn. They even got lotion on them. Jaguar has plans to electrify every model by 2020. I'm going to be sad if electric cars take over. I feel like electric cars have a place in the car scene, but if electric cars are going to take over everything, I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, the, I understand how the car scene was built on, you know, advancing in human technology and stuff like that, you know, building machines to assist you, and I get it, and now we're, we're getting to that point to where we can do a lot of that without that old school technology of engines and gasoline and oil. I get that, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I feel like electric vehicles just can't do some things that gasoline vehicles can. If you're out of a charge, you're screwed. You gotta charge it, okay? That's all you gotta do. If you're out of gasoline, you go to a gas station, you fill up, you're done like that. I don't know. I just feel like there's always gonna be a place for gasoline engines, so don't ever think that they're gonna go away completely unless technology advances so far to where you can get a full charge in like 30 seconds. But that would be a lot of energy. 2020 Jeep Wrangler plug-in hybrid. See, like, it's a Wrangler. What are you gonna do? I mean, instant torque, I guess, but what are you gonna do in, in a hybrid Wrangler? This is just straight up some some high schooler, college girl car at that point. It's like, you want a Wrangler? You want a hybrid? There you go. I know Wranglers don't get good MPG, and I know they're not fast, and I know they're not supposed to be, but it's a Wrangler. That's like taking a Mustang and making it electronic. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. I'm sure there's gonna be one on here somewhere. 2020 Kia Mojave. Another Kia SUV. It's not a bad looking SUV. I'm getting some Ford vibes. It's not a bad looking SUV, but I, I, I don't understand what the, what the trend is with, with this plastic outline around the whole car. I remember when the Aztec came out, everyone hated it. Everyone hated the Aztec because it looks stupid. And now every car looks like an Aztec ripoff. Just buy an Aztec. 2020 Lamborghini Urus Performante. Finally, a car I can afford. I'm joking. <laughs> the Urus is a pretty crazy car. I know it's gonna be, of course, people. Why would you buy a $200,000 SUV? Because some people can flex like that. And it is a, still a crazy car. They sound beautiful too. Uh, well, I went on a car cruise a long time ago with a bunch of Lamborghinis and stuff like that. And they, they sound really nice from factory. They, they are a good sounding car. Now, do you need to pay $200,000 for that? Well, it's up to you. If you shit $200,000, go ahead. But honestly, I mean, they're not bad looking cars either. But again, Aztec ripoff. I like cars that have color. 2020 Mazda Speed 3. Finally, Mazda bringing back something that's not just a Miata. The Speed 3, this will be pretty cool. And that's not a bad, I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but I could see it fitting in. Looks like a Tesla had sex with a Mazda 3. But again, that's not a bad thing. Teslas aren't bad cars. Like they're not bad looking cars. It's just, they're different. And this one, you can see it's super smooth, streamlined. And that's what you want. Aerodynamic cars are smooth. They're not sharp and angled like that. Like Lamborghinis, are, they're aerodynamic, but when you think of an aerodynamic vehicle, the Hayabusa was aerodynamic and it was a very round bike. And uh, this is a very round car. 2020 Mazda RX-9. Shit just got real. So, the big question. If they do make an RX-9, will it have the Wankel rotary engine? It better. I think I think Mazda knows that no one cares about the car unless it has a rotary engine. They they just know. The question is is if they can make the rotary engine more reliable because that's the problem with rotary engines. They're not reliable. They go out, they break. You have to rebuild them every so often, and that's just that's just part of owning one. But if they can enhance the design, which would be hard to do, but I feel like technology has come a ways. If they can enhance the if they can enhance the design to be at least twice as reliable, or you can get twice as many miles on it before rebuilds. I don't know. I feel like that, that that would be dope, but I don't know. I'm not a huge uh, rotary guy, but I feel like it'd be dope, and that's not a bad looking car. I'm not getting huge RX-7, RX-8 vibes, but it is a, it is a pretty dope looking car. 2020 Nissan Z. Now this would be cool, another Z on the road. The Z hasn't been updated in quite some time. It's pretty much been the same since 2009, and updating it with changing it up a little bit would be would be nice. Now, I don't know if this is the route to go. This looks like an Altima, had intercourse with a GTR which is different, but it, again, I'm getting a Lexus vibes too. It's not bad, but I feel like they can they can make it a little bit better. <laughs> I feel like like they just kind of matched a bunch of parts together. Like they're like, oh, okay, that, the roof and A pillar, that looks like from a GTR, that's cool. Okay, the hood, Altima. Okay, the rear end, Lexus, we're done. And again, it's, it's, it's kind of just a mash of, of parts and it's not bad, but I feel like, I don't know. I mean, it is a concept, we, we understand that. What the French toast is this thing? 2020 Red Space Reds. Is this for like Mars? What is this? The Reds is a far cry from Bengals. What is this thing? 
This looks like the bus that I used to draw on like in like middle school or like elementary school. Like straight up, if someone in elementary school was like, draw a car, this sometimes would probably come out. Like what? what, what is this door? This is an ugly car. This is an ugly car. 2020 Toyota 86. This looks like a Supra at intercourse with an 86. It's not a bad looking car, but I don't think they would release a car looking that aggressive and not have it be the Supra. I feel like at that point it would just be a Supra variant, but again, that's way too aggressive to be a uh, Toyota that's not a Supra. It just is. It's, it's just not likely to happen, but it's not a bad looking car. Toyota, if you need help designing a car, let me know. I know a thing or two. I will make it anti-rice. I will make sure it is not riceable even in the future. It'll be that good looking where it's like the Toyota Mark IV where it'll just, no one will touch it. No one will touch it. Okay, same with like the Cobra Terminators. No one will touch it. It's just that good of a looking car. If you need help like that, hit me up. We'll drop a four cylinder turbo in there. Very tunable, very reliable, or a straight six. And then people can toss a turbo in there and gap any muscle car ever. Hit me up. And don't use that idea, because I just told it to. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below which one of these cars you're most excited for. If they are true, uh, let me know any of the rumors down below if you have any. If you want to support the channel, pick up some merch. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe to join the Peacock Flock. And until next video, peace.